This is York. There are things that you don't know about York. The city walls, the railway museum, the pubs, even the fact that it is the most haunted city in the world. The shambles was once home to a butcher's shop. The street is so narrow that the houses on either side almost touch overhead, so that the meat on this plate could stay fresh for longer, away from the direct sunlight. Today is the hottest day in this year. Many shops close due to the hot temperature, but it doesn't stop me to walk around in York. There are many antique shops here. You might be overwhelmed by the range of choices. Besides the antique shops, you might find interesting shops here, such as the shop that must not be named, Monk Bar Chocolate, Katie Warfart, the York Ghost Merchants. Don't worry about getting lost in the streets of York. Because you will easily step two thousand years into the past to reach the York Minster. It is one of the largest cathedrals in Europe, and also one of the most beautiful Gothic cathedrals in the world. I will show you inside in the next episode. Now let's take a walk outside and admire this incredible Gothic architecture. You will not complete York without walking on city walls. It is beautifully preserved, and the longest medieval town walls in England. We had lunch in a Thai restaurant. I highly recommend to order this sticky rice with mango. The rice soak into the coconut milk. Tasty and chewy. There are many nice restaurants in York. Unfortunately, one day is not enough. Except for standard food, you can also try some special thing. You can discover some magical drinks here. They also hold potions experience. The butterscotch beer is alcohol-free, with cream and chamomile on top. It is a drink in Harry Potter. One day in York, it is enough and not enough. Enough for you to have a browse in York, walk through the alleys, visit York Minster, climb the city walls. Even take a ghost tour at night. Not enough to pop into every shops to truly discover the Viking and Roman culture. To know this city intensively.